Now for the muscles of the lower leg. Let me make sure we've got a good focus on that because those are kind of picky. There they are. Okay, good. And I'm going to start up here at the very front, this very front little ribbon muscles. There's eight muscles on this lower leg. And they have huge names for teeny tiny little ribbon muscles. For example, this first one on the front is called the brachioradialis. It's the one that allows you to turn, rotate your arm. It turns the radius so that you can get that turn. The next two are in a pair, extensor carpi radialis longus and extensor carpi radialis brevis. There they are separated. They come up together and then you have to separate that connective tissue to split the group. So let me say them again, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis. Now pull those out of the way and the next pair come up. Those two are the extensor digitorum, which means they're extending the fingers. These two extended the wrist, extensor carpi. These are extending the phalanges, if we want to put it that way, for a mink. Uh, the first one, closest to the mouth, is the extensor digitorum communis. The second one, actually the most lateral of the muscles, is the extensor digitorum lateralis. One student said a good way to remember communis is taking communion because it extends your fingers and takes it up to the mouth. So those two muscles are the extensor digitorum pair. Move those out of the way and we have our next set right there, another pair. And they're actually opposers. The first one is the extensor carpi ulnaris because it's on the ulna. That makes it different from these guys who were on the radius. Extensor carpi ulnaris. It's opposers, this huge muscle on the back called the flexor carpi ulnaris. And then right back here on the edge, that little guy right there is the magician's muscle called the palmaris longus. Now those are the muscles of the upper arm and I'm going to repeat them from front to back. We have brachioradialis, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor digitorum communis, extensor digitorum lateralis, extensor carpi ulnaris, and ex uh, flexor carpi ulnaris, and then palmaris longus. Let me give you some practice with that. I'll hold it out and then I'll pause, give you time to say it, and then I'll say it after you. Here's the first one. That's brachioradialis. Number two. Extensor carpi radialis longus, because it's longer. Number three. Extensor carpi radialis brevis, because it's shorter. Number four. Extensor digitorum communis. Number five. Extensor digitorum lateralis. Number six. Extensor carpi ulnaris. There's number seven, the big one on the back. Flexor carpi ulnaris. And then the last one, number eight, back here on the back. It's actually quite large. We can only see a little of it from that view, though. Palmaris longus. Okay.